All right, good morning, guys. Uh, it's currently, I believe, uh, give me a sec. I believe it's seven, yeah, 7.54, so almost eight right now. Uh, the house expo got canceled. So, so today we are doing this, all of this, all that mess. We are going to um, get rid of this, get rid of that, clean some stuff up, all of this, put the vacuum in there. Might put some doors, I might put some doors over here so that way dust doesn't get in there. We have to take that out, take that out, grab that. So that's hemlock, or actually that's fur. So that's BC fur. I used it for the uh, inside the the fireplace so we are going to get rid of almost all of this it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be a a hell of a job we're gonna get rid of all of this i'll go take the pickup and well that's not my pickup but we're gonna go grab a pickup and we are going to get rid of everything so that's exciting i'll bring you guys along with me get some uh, grab the tools put them over there and might do something else those are french cleats so that's a french cleat wall so basically how it works is i don't know if you guys will be able to see but right here that's like a 40 that's angled at 45 and this part right here is actually angled uh, at 45 uh, as well so that way you can just drop it in and it just holds itself in and you can just move that around everywhere. So I do, I did make, when I did that, I did make some spare ones to put on some other stuff. So we might do that with that extra sheet of plywood there. So that's the plan today and we'll, I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. All right guys, I'm back. Got the truck inside right here. As you can see, I parked it halfway inside, halfway outside, so it doesn't stand out in the rain. And so we can put stuff and stay dry. So we're gonna start, I believe we're actually gonna start in that corner over there, which is probably the worst. Uh, so we're gonna start with that and put that in the back of the, the, the truck there in the box and we'll get started. guys I'm pretty much done with the whole pile of plywood and wood and whatnot I was right there still have a, a little bit up there left still have the aspenite over there uh, everything I was good I kept so we still have a full sheet of 5 8 plywood half inch like half a sheet of uh, half inch plywood a little bit of uh, three quarter inch right in there right behind here somewhere and some two uh, full length of uh, strapping, a little bit of pine as well. So, not too concerned about that. I know I'll find a place for that, probably up there. And this is coming out. So, I do feel bad of, about just putting all of this in the trash. So, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to go to my uh, uncle's, which lives about 10, 15 minutes uh, down the street. And we are uh, going to put that over there. Uh, he's actually heating his garage with scrap wood. Uh, basically, he's heating his floors. So he'll have a use for that. All the scrap plywood, everything. So he's going to be able to uh, um, put heat in his garage with that. So that's always nice. And because I, I didn't really want to put that in the dump. So anyway, so catch you guys later. We're going to go dump that. Put this away. Take that down. Put a, take that down as well in the truck and we're good to go. Catch you guys later, bye. All right guys, I'm back. We clean up the back of the truck. So that's all dropped off. 
at my uncle's. Uh, my brother is actually helping me. He's right there. Uh, he's grabbing all the plastic pieces, putting them uh, in the shed. Right now we're gonna go through all of this, get things organized. Uh, and then after that, we'll jump to there and we'll get things done. Uh, yeah, so time lapse time, boys. Let's get to it. guys we're back so that's where we are now this all this big thing full of tools is actually going over there in that corner all the toolboxes are going right here and we're gonna make a spa some space right there to put plywood on so that's all junk that we took out some stuff went up there some some junk went up there and yeah so it's coming along we moved all this racking back uh, so it touches the wall there. So we had place, well, yeah, so we had some space to uh, put the, the tables over there. We're gonna jump on that next, but right now that's what we're doing, putting this right there and putting the toolboxes right on the side of the wall. So that way it's not in our way and we can finish up. All right. All right, guys, we're pretty much done. So this is not cleaned up yet, but we're gonna get to that maybe uh, another day. But uh, right now, all of this is organized, even though it doesn't look like uh, everything's organized. We moved that from there, from there to there, and we moved that a little bit as well. We shifted it. Those are 220 amp uh, uh, plugs that my brother actually wired in. So. These are actually quite handy, so we didn't want to block them off. So that's actually just perfect with the French cleat wall. Uh, the drills went right over this toolbox. Plywood fits nicely right there. So we still have room for that door. And so right now we do have all of this. Trucks loaded up. We'll get ready to go bring that to the dump. And then we're off to Ottawa. We're gonna go grab some stuff to organize a little bit more. So we're gonna stop by Lowe's and Home Depot as well. All right, catch you guys later, bye. All right guys, so here we are at Home Depot. Uh, we're gonna grab some stuff for the garage there to organize the garage and everything. And we actually found some small containers there that would be actually perfect. These right here very small containers so that will be actually perfect it'll fit nicely uh, in the shelves so I think and they're only like eight bucks each eight fifty each so I think those are what we're gonna go for and we'll grab the three that are still there and we'll go with that all right so we grab some more 
Uh, they only had three on the shelves over there. And they said they had 89 in stock. So the women said that it was, oh, there you go. That's some, but they're a little too big actually. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Got him. So we'll just switch that one because I believe it's, it's old. It's stuck. It's hard to do that with one hand. All right. Oh, there we go. We'll switch that one. Ah, oh, okay. T'as décidé d'en pogner plus? Yeah, because that one's a, for some reason, doesn't go all the way in. So when we try to stack them, it's going to be a little bit of pain uh, when it's full. So got five of those. We're going to label them. Uh, get them the racking and yeah, yeah, it'll be perfect. We're just still gonna look around there for uh, a little bit more stuff if ever we need anything and That should be good. So we have one two three four. I have how many six So here we go six more There we go perfect. So we'll, we're gonna have some uh, organization in our in our shelves right on all right catch you guys later all right guys we're back from the home depot and everything is all organized it looks very very nice and spacious uh, everything has its place i don't know if you can see it but like all the plywoods right there ladders ladders uh miter stand the broom all the tools are up there, so I just move it from there to there, which is the big advantage of having a French cleat wall. Uh, it's super, super nice, and you can keep things organized. And we will eventually make one for the two saws. We put the two saws on top here, and we do have another one that's down here, a right will be one, um, but these are the two main, so there, that one's a six and a half. That one's a six and a half. That one's the seven and a quarter fuel. It has the 60 teeth uh, Diablo blade on there. So super nice saw. I actually really, really love that saw. Super powerful. It came with the nine amp battery uh, right behind here actually. So super nice. And uh, yeah, so it does look, what up? So it does look really, really organized now. All the containers are have their own purpose so that's for uh, lawn care those are all the clamps uh, those are all the tools the corded tools that we don't really use anymore but we do keep them just in case because we never know we always have breakdowns even though we have like literally six or seven different kind of drills so that's fine but uh yeah everything looks nice it's all organized good job Oh, that was cringe. Yeah. 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 But uh, so we moved this. It was a little bit towards the right there. It was right in the middle. Uh, we moved the air filter um, just because we wanted a little bit more space. And whenever a car gets in here, it stands quite close to that. So we didn't really want that there. But um, super, super nice. Really happy with the result. Don't look at that, that's still a mess. And uh, we'll get to that probably a little later. Like I said, I really want to build some uh, some doors and something that just to cover that up so it doesn't look too bunk. Um, we do have the hand planer right here. We do have bet, uh, the belt sander. So we, do have, uh, we, we still have some, uh, some tools around, laying around, but 10,000 times better than when it used to be. And I just love it. It's just, uh, everything looks organized. Everything has its own place and I love it. All right, so I don't know what we're gonna do next, but um, I don't know, that might be the end of the video or it might not. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and see you guys later, bye.